Hello and welcome to the Connect4 course in Unity. My name is Octoman and I'm going to be your instructor for the next couple of hours in how to create a Connect4 game within the Unity game engine. We are using Unity 2021 over here. If you're using an older version, that's totally up to you. And even newer versions shouldn't have any issues in creating and following this course. What you will learn over here the first thing is we're going to go and create just a one versus one player setting inside Unity. That means we are going to set up the play field. We're going to set some 3D models up as well as we're going to fill up the complete grid over here with coins by just clicking on those rows. Since that is going to be a one versus one player, this is for local player gaming over here. You are able to play against a friend of yourself or maybe your family or somebody else. In the further steps, we are going to learn how we can mark the winning row. For example, if I'm going to go and uh, fulfill one of these rows over here, we're going to make some small animation over here and show where is the actual win. At the very end of the course, we're going to create some panels and nice UI elements in which we can go back to the main menu. And we also learn how to animate those buttons by just hovering over them. We learn how to switch between different panels, as well as how we can create a easy, medium and hard AI to play against. We are also taking a further look into AI. We want to learn how the Minimax algorithm is going to work. As you can see, the Minimax algorithm calculates the or evaluates the current board score. And that means the AI is going to try to pre-compute on how high the actual search depth is going to be the best turn for the AI. So as we can see, the AI now tries to fulfill this row. We can just block this, of course, and now it's trying to use this one as being a blocker. And since I just used an easy and simple AI over here by search depth of one, we are having still a good challenge over there, but it's still winnable. I just lost because I wanted to. So also we learn how to restart the game. The difficulty setting is going to stay as is, as well as we are able to go back into the main menu afterwards. So with the Minimax algorithm, which is going to be for more intermediate um, people over here, you as a beginner are or should be able to still perform the stuff because I try to explain everything as best as possible. We go through everything we need to understand and need to make sure of to create a rather solid AI to play Connect4 against you and other players. We are also going over alpha beta pruning, which means it's an advanced technique to optimize Minimax, as well as you have always the possibility to you know, create your own evaluation method by using the same parameters, but you just need to, you know, score that probably differently than we learn over here. If you are interested into this course, feel free to just join me on this little lessons and maybe you're going to be a better yeah, game creator and a indie developer or game developer in the future. Feel free to join me on this lessons and talk to you in course if needed.